আসসালামু আলাইকুম আই এম ডক্টর রাহুল কাদির অ্যাসিস্ট্যান্ট রেজিস্ট্রার এনএসিবিডি রেসপেক্টেড চেয়ারপারসন এন্ড ডিয়ার লার্ন অডিয়েন্স দিস ইজ কো রিলেশন অফ অ্যাথ্রোজেনিক ইনডেক্স অফ প্লাজমা উইথ সিভিয়ারিটি অফ করোনারিটি ডিজিজ ইন পেশেন্ট উইথ নন এসটি সেগমেন্ট টেলিভিশন অ্যাকুট করোনারি সিনড্রোম সো নন এসটি সিজ ইজ মাচ মোর কমন দ্যান এসটিএমআই ইন দি ইউনাইটেড স্টেটস ফোর ওয়ান পয়েন্ট ফোর মিলিয়ন পেশেন্টস পার ইয়ার আর এডমিটেড টু হসপিটাল উইথ এসিএস approximately 70% with non stcs there are many risk factor for atherosclerosis among them lipid profile of plasma is a major risk factor and predictor of coronary artery disease it has been shown that atherogenic index of plasma is a strong marker to predict the risk of atherosclerosis and coronary heart disease atherosclerosis atherogenic index of plasma defined as a log logarithmically transformed ratio of triglyceride to high density lipoprotein cholesterol Atherogenic index of plasma is equal to log logarithm in by triglyceride by high density lipoprotein concentration. The AIP is a small dense lipoprotein indicator. Examination of small dense lipoprotein is expensive and uses complex procedures. This limits the use of small dense lipoprotein as a risk factor for cardiovascular disease. So AIP measurement is cost effective, easily measured and commercially available. The aim of this study to find out the correlation of atherogenic index of plasma with coronary artery disease severity in non-ST segment elevation acute coronary syndrome patients. This cross-sectional study was conducted in the Department of Cardiology, National Heart Foundation Hospital and Research Institute from October 2019 to August 2020. Total 120 patients of non-ST ACS who underwent coronary angiography selected purposely included after considering inclusion and exclusion criteria. Study population was divided into three groups according to AIP. Group 1, less or equal than 0.19. Group 2, more than 0.19 to 0.32. And group 3, more than 0.32. Based on characteristics, biochemical variables, coronary disease severity by Jensen score were then compared between three groups. Distribution of pa patient according to categories of the AIP. There are three categories which I have already mentioned. The percentage of first group was 34%, second group was 34.2%, and the third group is 31%. The pie chart of the patient according to Jensen score, less than 64 is 69%, and more than 64 is 30%. Association of patient according to demographic variables so by categories of A, the mean age was Mean age and sex meant BMI was say BMI was calculated, but age and sex were p value was significant. Correlation of biochemical variables with AIP showing that all the biochemical variables except RBS was, was uh, statistically significant. Then association of patient according to Jensen score by category of AIP showing that. The Jensen score is correlated with the uh, p significant correlation is seen. And this is a correlation and regression of the patient according to AIP with Jensen score. This correlation curve was plotted and the, it shows the R value is 0 0.8 and P value is less than 0 0.001. And logistic regression analysis of the predictors of the severe Jensen score showing AIP is correlated with the gen severe Jensen score. So conclusion, the study showed that AIP was an independent predictor of coronary disease severity in patients with non-ST segment elevation acute coronary syndrome. AIP was significantly increased and associated with significant coronary disease in patients with presenting with non-ST ACS patient. Thus AIP assessment can be effective in planning strategies for treatment like early revascularization or early hospital discharge as well as risk factor risk ratification. Thank you.